Welcome to our roller stretch. We're going to do the hip crease and groin today. So if you haven't worked out before this class, I just want you to get up and like circle your knees just to open up a little bit here before you start doing this video, because this is going to be a pretty strong um, invasion, so to speak, or pressure on those parts. So I want them to be open and I want them to be warm. So just get up and I'll just show you what to do. So stop the video and just do these in both directions. That'll get you prepared for this. All right, and when you come back, we're gonna kneel in front of our ruler. Our mat is beside, I'm gonna give you a little bit of an angle. Our mat is beside our roller. I can roll here. You're putting one knee on the mat. The other knee is right behind the roller. The crease, the end of the roller is right in the middle of your body. So you're gonna feel that edge in your, um, in your body. So I want you to extend the leg that's behind the roller and drop it onto the roller. And the other knee is scooted up and your elbows are even. So it's really important, close. it's really important that you get it in the exact position so that we can get that groin worked. So sitting on that hip crease, you're on your elbow, you're lifting your knee off the floor, your eyes are down, and your foot is flexed into the floor. And just roll inside that groin muscle. So the groin muscle runs from the pubic bone to the hip, right? So that helps open up our hips and also helps the strength of our pelvic floor. Everything does, but people like to talk about it these days. So I just want you to rock back and forth with this, these toes in the floor. We're gonna do each side one at a time, very focused. Already I can feel kind of vibrations going through my body. Lots of energy being activated. Staying on your toes so you're flexed. You're not going very far. You're going from the top of that muscle to the bottom. All right, five more. Four, three, and two. No weight on your arms. They're just kind of holding you there. And one. Now I'd like you to flatten the foot out and then just lift and lower the leg. For eight, two. Three, so you can feel yourself pull away and stretch that muscle. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now let it rest on the floor. Let it really weigh you. There should be a lot of weight on it right now. So you're going to take it out to the end of the roller and back. You don't move at all. You just slide this leg out and back, out and back, out and back, good. We're gonna do 10 all together. Five more, five, four, three, two, and I want you to hold it out there on one, hold it out there and then lift, 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 lift off the floor as if it's diving right into that groin muscle. Lower it back to the floor and slide it back into the center. Now you're going to lift the foot off the floor just slightly, curl the foot to a 90 degree and take it down. Two, good. Three, nice. Four, five, perfect. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then hold it there on 10 and lower your chest to the floor. Good. Now lift for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and hold it up there on one and take the leg out to the outside and in for 10, two, three, four, five, knee just turns, six, you're moving from your hip and your glutes, seven, eight, nine, 10, now to the inside, one, good, 
two. So your hip is wrapping the other way. Three, good job. Four, five, I hope you're seeing all this. I'm gonna turn upside down. Six, seven, eight, nine, good job. And 10, bring it back to the center. You'll go all the way down, bring it back to the center. And just roll with the foot in that 90 degree angle for 10. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lower the knee down and bring yourself back up onto your elbows. And let me, and let yourself put that foot back into the floor and then roll inside the groin muscle. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Relax the foot. The leg down, I'd like you to put your hand onto the mat and you're gonna push yourself up and come onto the hip and then come down. 10 of those, two, good, down. Three, good, perfect, all the way down. Four, you come down so that your hands are parallel. Five, good, and down. Six, perfect. Nice. Seven. Keep breathing. Eight. Good job. Hit my back wall. Nine. Nice. And you're going to hold it up here on 10 and you're going to roll up and down for 10. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, let's bring it back to our standing position. All right, and then we're going to bring our chest down to the floor again. Now we're gonna extend the leg and curl it all the way to the hoop. One, nice, Never, don't let it sit on the floor. Two, three, nice, four, as close as you can. Five, six, seven, eight, good job. Nine, 10, hold it there, take it out to the side. One, two, so it's the same thing, but it's a tighter hold. Three, longer quad, four. Now I'm turning five to talk to you, but you keep your head facing down. Six, seven, eight, nine. Now to the inside, let's go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bring it back to center, lower it down, and keep your chest and everything on the floor. Okay, long, point it. Now lift the foot off the floor about, I don't know, three inches. Hold it there. Double that lift. Good. Breathe into it. Take it a little higher. Take it as high as you can. Now take it out to a shoulder width, right up there at that highest height. Keep it extended. Come on. Bring it back to center, lower it down, and let it all melt. All right, you're gonna come back up onto your elbow and you're gonna roll from your groin to the mid thigh. So we're pushing off and creating a connection between the groin and the rest of the leg. Five, go for 10, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, nice. Now to the belly, one, no, any of this hurts, two, or you have scar tissue there, which you might have three, 
Don't do it. Four, just lay along the roller. Five, that's always a great thing to do. Six, good job. Seven, eight, nice. Nine, and 10. Knee down, hands under your shoulders. Bring yourself up to kneeling. So you have two different angles on your groin now. It's uneven. So we're going to do this fun stuff on the other side. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's super focused. So you're getting, you know, what feels like a very limited range of motion, but in actuality, it's taking care of that whole kinetic chain right there in the back of your body. So again, let's position. One knee behind the roller, the middle right between your legs. You're going to extend that leg, drop onto that groin. The other knee is up on the mat. Scoot it up, and you're in parallel arms. Palms are facing each other. Don't grip. I'm going to just put your foot into the floor. We're going to warm it up for quite a bit here. It takes a minute to open all this up to get it ready for the rest of the work. So we're just going to rock back and forth with our foot flexed into the floor. Nice, beautiful job. I love it. Makes me feel so open. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, breathe into it, two, and one. All right, flatten that foot. Take a nice deep breath here. You're going to lift and lower. One, two, three, four. Nice and slow. Breathe into it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now lower it down and slide it out to the side. Two, three, four. Five, eyes down but not under. Six, seven, you're going to hold it out there on ten. Eight, nine, and ten. Little lifts. One, feel that. Two, don't let it touch the floor. Three, four, good job. Five, six, nice. Seven, eight, nine, and 10, slide it back in. Let your body drop over the front of the roller. Lift the foot off the floor and curl it to 90 degrees and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, hold it here on 10, lift for 20. One, two, three, four, come on, breathe. Five, six, seven, eight, really feel it separate. Nine, don't stay in your comfort zone, push it past. 10, you want to feel that pushing in there. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it to the outside for ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Inside, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Lower it down, extend it, come back up on your elbows and roll in that groin muscle. Good. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Lower it down. Put your hand under your shoulder. You're going to come up and back to parallel. Two, right onto that hip. Three, hip 
Alex, you're getting a lot of attention today. Four, good job. Uh, and I have to tell you, this is kind of crazy. I had a very, very painful May 6th, and that is totally gone today, or after the seven. So it's really mysterious how these things work together. Eight, nine, good job. And 10, you roll up and down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it down. Good. And then you drop your chest again. Then you're going to take your foot all the way to your glute. Lift it off the floor. One. Two, three, four, five, six, all the way to the seven, eight, nine. Hold it here on ten, take it to the outside. One, two, nice and tight. Three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, inside, and one, two, three, keep pushing, four, five, you can do it, six, seven, eight, is that belly in? You can hang here, right? And ten, bring it back to center, lower it all the way down. Now, lift three inches. And hold it. Three more inches. Yes. Lift again. Good job. Come on, you can hold it in there. As far as you can go, and pulse it. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, lift higher, 3, 2, and 1. Lower it down. You come back on your elbows, groin to middle thigh, if you can. There's too much stuff in the way. If it hurts, 3, and 4, and 5, and 6. And seven, and eight, nine, and ten. Now to the belly. One. This one I'm a little more cautious of too, because a lot of people have, you know, conditions in their abs. Three, that you know you don't want to put pressure on. Four. So you have to make that decision. Five for yourself. Six, and seven, and eight, and nine. And 10 hands under the shoulders, bring yourself up onto your mat, and you should have an even pelvis groin muscle meeting in the middle of the story. All right, let's do our upper body for a little bit, then we'll get down to our stretch. All right, literally, I had a terrible ache in my knee. I'm so happy. Now that my knees are loose. All right, up and down the whole vertebrae from the shoulders all the way down to the bottom of your rib cage, not the floating ribs, of course. And your arms are tight together, your glutes are off the floor. Life is great. Time is going so quickly, though. What the heck? Nice. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to focus on the shoulders today. So go above the shoulder blades, right to the shoulders. So we have them squeezed together right here. I want you to just hold that for a minute. That's going to be 20 seconds. Just hold it right there. You're on the backs of your shoulders. Just five more seconds. Now I'm going to take one arm up and come up to cactus right here with it. Keep the other one curled in and roll on that shoulder. Perfect. 
or more, and three, and two, and one. Now, if you have no shoulder issues, I want you to take that elbow over the other side of the bar and up and down. Good. Three, four, five, going for eight, six, seven, and eight. Now I want you to put fingers face again. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now hold it back together, just on the shoulder still. Now open the other one to cactus. Now make sure you keep your head up. Try not to look at the camera unless it's right in front of you. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Take it above the roller. One, two, three, four, five, let's see this, six, like this, right? Seven and eight. The bigger straight up. One, two, right on that shoulder. Three, four, five, six, good golly, seven, and eight. Grab that, grab that position again. Make sure your head's nested up and down the whole back for six, two, good job. Three, four, five, and six. Lower your glutes, good job. Eyes above the head. Push up, push up, push up. Bring it to cactus. Walk it down, roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward. And let's go right to our stretch. No stopping. All right. Get onto your mats. Make sure you're pulling that body apart into the body's position. There we go. Separation between the rib cage and the hips. If you're feeling set, just hold it right there. I want you to separate your legs outside the mat while you have your body in this position. And just hold it right there. So you're opening the outside of your hips, but you're closing the inside, right? Now put those feet together and the knees apart. You feel another sensation there. And now bring it back to center and take those legs to tabletop. Take a nice deep breath. Take one leg up and the other leg away. Grab the leg with its respective hand. You can massage your groin on the other side. Big inhale and exhale lower. Good. Big inhale and exhale lower. With the other leg really strong, big inhale and exhale lower. And just hold it right there. Yeah, I want you to just really feel what you can do with extension, how you can feel yourself get more flexible. You know, you want to get, drop your shoulder blades. So when you grab, don't let it go up there. You want to get as much power in the, in the parts that aren't going to deteriorate, that the muscles shouldn't deteriorate. So it's up to you to like keep them strong as you get older. The tendons and the ligaments, we can't do anything about those. The muscles and bones, we're going to just keep working on. Now put your hand on the outside of your leg or foot and push your knee down to your armpit. Breathe into it. Now, as you extend your leg, I want you to push on it so that you're doing some resistance right over the shoulder right here. You're over the shoulder. Just hold it there. Now, I want the other hand to come over and bring it across your body as if you could put it on the other shoulder. You probably can't. I can't. And just take it across. I want you to stretch that hip a little more. And then, then bring that back up, straight up, and cross it over the other leg. Your hip comes to the ceiling and you're hanging onto that roller. Oh, there goes the movement. Push through and bring it back up. And bring the leg beside. Oops, I got three more inches on that stretch leg. 
Bring it down, take the other one away. Big inhale and exhale, lower. You can massage your groin again. Big inhale and exhale, lower. Big inhale and exhale, lower. We're gonna hold that. Just really breathe into it. Nice, extending down their leg, nice and strong. Nice, just keep hanging on. Like I said, I want you to explore all these extensions. Yep. Okay, hand on the outside of the foot. Bring it down into your armpit. If I use to need a Good job. Now remember to keep pushing as you extend it over your shoulder. And you're still pointing out that other leg, but you get it right. And then bring the other arm over and try to take it over to the other side. Release it, bring it back to center, and it crosses over the other leg, hang on to your roll. Bend my knee a little bit because I'm going to knock my background down. Okay, push through and bring yourselves up. I'm losing my there we go, position. I'd like you to point your feet and do a rotation to turn out. There you go. And then flex that turn out. And then move it side to side. There we go from the hips. Then point that turn out and bring it back. And those legs. And then we go, watch the rest of the helicopter. The ball is spinning something, aren't I? Good. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, and one. Let it slow down by itself. Yeah, there you go. Bend the knees a little bit, just a little. That'll help slow it down. Bring it in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Right leg to tabletop, left leg to tabletop. One foot to the floor, left foot to the floor. Bring it up. Keep yourself lifted in that bridge. Come down vertebrae by vertebrae. Feet together, knees apart, hands to the ceiling, nod your shit down. Let's take some three breaths here. Fill that body with some new oxygen. Get rid of all that stuff you use during the stretches. Get some new stuff in there. Close the legs to the front. Bring the arm around to the front. Push yourself into the center. I move everything around so much that I can't even figure out where my mat is at the end of class. And over tailbone, that was great. Get those shoulders rolled back for three. And forward for three. We're also gonna stretch our necks. Make sure you pull one arm down, take the head to the side that's doing the pulling, not the side that's being pulled, and then switch and then arms to the front. We're gonna breathe up beside our ears. Inhale up and down, two more up and down. And last time, thank you for coming to Roller Stretch. I feel different. This was a half hour that made a difference.